everyone i hope you are all well this video this week is another what's for tea i'm calling it what's for tea sausage edition so i've got three recipes for you where i have used them making do with the sausages that if you saw the video where i cleared out my freezer you saw that i had hundreds and hundreds of sausages that's what it felt like sausage mountain so I have done um, a video for you where we have a look at some different sausage recipes. So this is going to be the chuck it all in, mostly out of the freezer casserole that I'm making today. Shopping day, so it's nice and easy for me to do this. So this is my bag of um, casserole veg straight from the freezer. I'm not defrosting anything, just bunging it all in. We have got some peas that I'm going to pour into, there we go, so everything's looking a little bit sad from the freezer, but if you've watched my freezer video about sorting it out, you will understand why, a little bit of that, that is celery, and uh, this is some mini sausages, they're just going to go in, so give it a nice bit of extra flavour. And there's not many potatoes in there, so I'm just going to go in with some of these. These are some that we grew in the garden. And that's literally it. Um, I'll probably be home. This is going on low, so I'll probably be home in about six hours. And then at that point, I will throw in um, some herbs and things. Now, I'm not going to pour any liquid in here because there's enough frozen stuff in here to generate liquid of its own. So that's it. Lid on. Forget about it. And we'll see it later back from shopping this has been on for about five and a half hours i'm going to add some extra bits to it so i'm going to add some garlic powder and some onion powder Get that in there as well and my favorite thing to add when i make a stew mm, it smells good tarragon i absolutely love tarragon so i'm going to go in with a whole load of that i'm going to give that a bit of a mix And that's going to keep going for another couple of hours. Ready for when Chris comes home. Chris is going to be home in about an hour. So what I've just done is I've moved most of my veggies and stuff to the side to leave my water there. And I'm just pouring in a little bit of corn flour. And I'm just going to give that a mix. And then move everything back in and that will create a slightly thickened sauce by the time we are ready to eat all done ready to go quick and eat well quick in terms of just bung it all in a pot definitely easy i'm gonna have a try and get some veggies some of this nice sausage some of that sauce if you want to make it a bit thicker, put some more corn flour in. Let's give it a go. Mm. I can't remember who suggested putting the sausage in the casserole, but thank you very much. I will have a look back through my comments, and I, if I remember, I will put a little thank you at the bottom of the screen. Great idea. Right, I'm going to have tea now. Right, tonight's tea is a sausage use it up meal. We have got some fake, I think I should not have done this on a red board because everything's going to look red now. We have got our fake vegan chorizo. We've got some tomatoes, got a bit of an onion I had left over, half a pepper I had left over, some mushrooms because mushrooms are lovely. And I've got some pasta, some of this con chili pasta, I believe it's called and we are just going to knock it together and make a really nice quick pasta so in my pan i'm going to get the heat on let me just get the angle of the dangle right because that's not quite right there we go get the heat on so if you've watched my um recent um freezer clear out video you know i am inundated with sausages so i am trying to clear out as many of those and I had a suggestion of doing a, put some sausage in one of my pasta dishes. So I found the chorizo and it's really nice. We've had it before a long time ago. And so that's what we're gonna do. Now this chorizo is still partially frozen. 
which is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to chuck everything in the pan and cook it all at the same time. And that will work out absolutely perfect. I've not got much oil in here. I've got a very fine drizzle because I have a feeling that the chorizo, if it's anything like traditional chorizo, will ooze out some oil. So literally, it's going to be an everything in the pan job until it is all cooked. And it's going to be a case of just giving it a mix every now and again and keeping an eye on it while I boil the kettle and get some hot water on for the pasta. So you can come back when I'm ready for the next bit. This has cooked down really, really nicely. I've tested the sausage. It's all nice and cooked through. I am going to put in some mixed herbs. And to make a sort of sauce, I'm going to go in with... A good squeeze of tomato puree cook that off for a few minutes because I like to cook my tomato puree off it seems to make a better flavor so I'm gonna cook that for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add my sauce ingredient okay the tomato puree is cooked out and what I'm going in with now is not something traditional but I'm using my soy milk and this is gonna make my sauce I just find that it makes a really nice base. When it's mixed with the tomato puree, the tomato puree thickens the sauce and it just works really, really well. And it's quite a neutral flavour, so it takes on the flavours of whatever you've got in it. I've done this a few times and it just tastes really, really nice. I know it's not traditional, I don't know any, unless it is, unless there are some milky pasta sauces out there, I do not know. But this is what we are using and it works for us and it tastes nice so that is how i create my pasta sauce i'm just going to wait now leave this on a low heat and i'm just going to wait for my pasta to finish cooking and then we are good to go okay pasta's finished i'm going to pop it in here i haven't drained it completely i always keep a little bit of pasta water to loosen up the sauce if it's gone a bit tight, which I noticed it had done while it was just simmering. And this is the pasta. There's quite a lot here, because as you know, I always make loads of everything, because what's the point if you can't freeze some of it? It will be absolutely yummy tomorrow. So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna get some pasta, some of this lovely sausage, mushroom, tomato get on my fork there we go see how this goes mm. yummy really good if you wanted to enhance the um flavor of the chorizo depending on what yours is like maybe a little bit of smoked paprika in there or normal paprika or you could put in a bit of chili to give it a bit of a kick but that's really good. That's tea tonight. Might pop on some garlic bread. And get that down us. For tonight's tea, we are having sausage and mushroom and onion pie. So all I've done in here is I have cooked down my mushrooms and my onion till the onion is nice and soft. Then all I'm going to do is chuck in this sausage. Yes, it is still frozen, but that is absolutely fine. This is my vegetarian sausage, so with it being frozen, I'm not worried about it at all. That's going to go in there. I'm going to cook that down just for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to make like a little um, roux in there as well, just to make a creamy sauce to go in with it. Over here, I've just got some potatoes. I've popped on to boil because we're going to have a pastry base and a mash top. Right, this has all just been cooking off nicely. I've just put a little knob of spread in there, which I'm then going to mix in, because this is just going to provide me with that little bit of lubrication for my flour. Then I'm going to sprinkle in some flour, just a light dusting over all the veggies and the sausage. And I'm just going to give that a little mix until the flour looks like it's disappeared. And then I'm going to add 
some milk to it. Now you could add stock or wine if you choose to. Something just to help make it go a bit saucy. So I'm going to get my soy milk. We're on handheld today. So pour a bit of my milk in. If you saw the sausage recipe before this, sausage, sausages galore. If you saw the sausage pasta recipe before this, you'll see how good this milk is. I don't know why, but this unsweetened soy milk is just so good at thickening and creating a nice sauce. We don't want it too saucy. We just kind of want it so it's unctuous when you cut into the pie, because otherwise you're going to end up with a very wet pastry. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cook this through for a minute or two, just to get rid of that floury-ness. And then I'm going to leave it to cool because I don't want to put a hot mixture into my um, pastry, which I have made. If you want to know how I make my pastry, it's half fat to flour. I did 100 grams of fat to, which I've just used spread, to 200 grams of flour and then just rubbed it together to make breadcrumbs and then added a little bit of very cold water until it came together. I've wrapped it in a bit of cling and it is currently in the fridge cooling down. And I will use that to line my tin. And potatoes are cooking away. They are not far off being done. Give them a little stab. Still got a bit of resistance. These, are, at this point, if I was making roast potatoes, I'd take them out. But because we're going for mash, we're going to leave them in for a bit longer. I'm going to pop a lid on them. Yes, I know it's not the right lid, but it was the one I had handy. So it doesn't really matter. And we'll come back when I'm ready to make the pie. I'm in the middle of watching a Christmas movie. I know it's only October, but you know what they like on movies 24? They always like to put Christmas ones on really, really early. Don't tell Chris, because he can't stand the fact that Christmas comes so early. But it's secretly, I really like it. Right, I've popped my pastry in. All as I did was just fold, just drop it in like this so that it doesn't... You don't want to stretch your edges too much. I'm going to trim this off. With the back of my knife, I'm not going to use the sharp edge because I don't want to blunt, blunt my blade. But I'm just going to trim like that. The rest of this pastry can go wrapped in some cling film in the fridge. I might use it tomorrow or I might use it, uh, pop it in the freezer. It just depends. So in next, we're going to go in with our filling. This has cooled off nicely and it's tightened up. So in that goes. We're going to be very generous with this filling. Not going to waste any of it. Okay, let's pop that down. So that's all our sausage, mushrooms and onions in there that fits perfectly and now on the top we're going to go in with our mash so let's just get a spoon to put that in all of I did with the mash was added a little bit of butter before I mashed it I'm just going to put dollops on before I spread it around I find if you put it all in one spot, it doesn't spread as well as it should. And then I'm going to use a fork just to finish this off. This is going to be quite a tall pie, which is absolutely fine. It will work really well. But before I put this in the oven, it's not quite tea time yet. So this can just be popped in the fridge until... Tea time, we've actually got quite a lot of mash on here. But that's fine because this is it. This is tea. We're not serving it with anything else. It's not going to be any kind of anything on the side. The whole meal is this pie. And that is absolutely fine because I have got my vegetables. I have got my meat. I have got some pastry. And I have got my mash. So I'm just going to pop this mash like a little mash mountain in the middle push it down to the edges I will be putting this putting this I should say pardon my 
grammar putting this on a tray to go in the oven because I have a feeling it will leak slightly so I'm not too worried about that nice ridges because who doesn't like those crispy bits on top of a pie have a good look at that that'll do us I'll be popping this in the oven in a little bit because it's not quite tea time yet as I said and I'll just be putting it in at 180 for possibly about 40 minutes until the center is all nice and hot and the top is all nice and golden there we have it after I've watched my Christmas film starring Candice Cameron Bure very good very cute she gets the guy she always gets the guy but here we go here is my it's a picture of perfection. I always don't want to cut into it. Right, let's go for it. Oh. Oh, this is looking good. This is going to be so steamy hot. I may have to go for the stand. Yes, this is a two-hand job. Give me a second. I'm just going to put the phone on the stand. I'm back. Right. Let's let's do this. Do you know what? I'm going to take it out of this. Yes, I did use a release mould. Oh, yes. There we go. Like I say, this is a pie for two people. You want to make more? You need to make more pies or do additional parts to it. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on! Ah! Pie struggles. Right, okay, we're going in, we're going in. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, look at that. Oh, yes. That is pie perfection that is dinner i'm getting the fork yes i will be making gravy to go with this let's zoom in on that pie there we go here we are let's go on to oh pie okay here we go we have sausage we have onions we have mash we probably have nuclear fallout in my mouth. Five second interlude for blowing of pie. Oh, oh, mm. oh yeah. Okay, make pie. If this doesn't inspire you to make pie, I will seriously do not know what will. I'm going to go and eat now. So, what did you think? Were they sausage recipes that you do? I love a good throw it in the um, slow cooker and just cook it up recipe. I saved the end bit that we didn't use and I blitzed it all together to make a soup. Really delicious. Blitzed up the sausage. There was a couple of leftover sausages in there. They absolutely enhance the soup. So flavorful, really, really tasty. Chris's favorite meal was the pie. He absolutely demolished that. Absolutely loved it. It was really good because it was literally, the pie was your whole meal. All as we added was gravy to it. And it was so satisfying afterwards. The pasta with the chorizo sausages, I did not know that they were not meat. You could not tell. They were absolutely gorgeous and, you know, pasta is such a quick and easy thing to make. So please hit me with a thumbs up and some lovely comments. I've still got lots of sausages left. I did buy some more. I apologise, but they were such a good price. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do Christmas movies too. Because even though it's October, Movies 24, Hallmark Movies can't resist them. <laughs> I'll see you next time.